Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to my channel, this is Tanush and uh, today we will be discussing about uh, the most important transit of 2024 which is the transit of Jupiter from the sign of Aries to the sign of Taurus. So on 1st of May 2024, Jupiter is going to transit to the sign of Taurus. It's going to stay there for almost a year, so till 15th of May I believe 2025. So one of the most important transit because Jupiter is one of the most important planet, right? Uh, before starting, I would like to mention that I provide timestamps for all the ascendants in the description section. So uh, you can visit the description section, click on the link and you know, you'll go to that particular ascendant. Now, uh, needless to say that, uh, you know, a lot depends upon which dasha you are going through, which antar dasha you are going through and how Jupiter is placed in your chart. So that determines a lot. Uh, you know about how Jupiter is going to give you results right so let's get started now uh, to understand about this transit we'll uh, have to understand what the sign of Taurus indicates and what Jupiter in Taurus indicates so the sign of Taurus which is the natural second house in the Kal Chakra Kundali represents wealth so the most important uh, point or the agenda which the transit of Jupiter is going to set forth from uh, 1st of May for next one year is wealth, wealth management. So it's about managing your wealth, it's about increasing your savings, increasing your income, uh, handling the wealth properly. So that's going to be the agenda, right? Second is, uh, you know, uh, eating fine foods. So people who are interested in having, you know, uh, good delicacies you know this is the time where uh, jupiter in taurus would push them to uh, have wonderful food so they'll go out try different kind of uh, foods at you know in different restaurants so that's one thing uh, the second house also represents uh, family so one one point one important point during this transit you'll uh, notice that uh, family get together will increase people will start bonding with families with, with their extended family and everything and the bonding increases so jupiter will give uh, an opportunity to uh, overcome any any issues you had with family members so that would be on the agenda uh, during this transit second house also represents our speech our vocal cord so during uh, this transit we can see people who are in the field of singing especially uh, for them this is going to be a very good transit so they can actually try to improve their their talent and they can uh, look out for opportunities because they'll be getting very good opportunities during this transit right and also speech so it's about all these things so these things would be on the agenda of jupiter for this transit now uh, so all these things are represented by taurus now jupiter represents uh, wisdom, our intelligence, it represents our higher side, our spiritual side, right? Expansion, uh, you know. So, when Jupiter comes into the sign of Taurus, so Venus is not a friend of Jupiter, so Jupiter is not going to be very comfortable. So, uh, how we can decode this transit is Jupiter is going to leave its ideology of all these things, you know, higher learning. Uh, you know spirituality and it will adapt to the nature of Taurus so it will it will give results uh, adapting to the energy of Taurus which means it will help in increasing the wealth so the same the same expansion would now be tailored towards uh, increasing uh, you know the wealth savings finding different opportunities uh, for uh, you know gaining wealth different streams of income we can see uh, people you know discovering different streams of income during this period again you know singing so it's going to actually give you opportunities in this fields of singing finance uh, you know speech so people who are in speech therapy people who are motivational speakers so they'll they'll see a lot of opportunities during this period so jupiter will leave its ideology and now it will adapt to the nature of taurus and give the results accordingly so 
uh, let us see how this transit is going to impact all the ascendant so we'll go ascendant wise right so uh, for aries jupiter is the lord of your ninth and twelfth house a very good planet for you and it's going to transit to the second house so whatever we discuss about uh, the significance of taurus and jupiter in taurus will apply to you so it would be all about wealth management right so finding out different source of income possibility of uh, getting into a new job because from the second house jupiter aspects your sixth house and your 10th house right so sixth house also indicates uh, increase in income it also indicates new responsibilities higher responsibilities and 10th house is the house of career so this uh, jupiter in the second house aspecting the sixth house and the 10th house clearly indicates that you are going to get new opportunity in your workplace at your workplace so it can mean change in the job which is also indicated by jupiter uh, or it can mean promotion in the same job or people might also quit the job and get into business so all these things are indicated for aries ascendant right so uh, jupiter in the second house indicates increase in the income and then jupiter aspecting the 10th house indicates that you will get opportunities which would increase your income right so that is uh, clearly indicated during this transit now jupiter aspecting the aspecting the sixth house also indicates that if there are any court cases which are uh, pending from long time so they will gain momentum during this period and based on how jupiter is placed you can see things going either in your favor or against you so in general jupiter uh, generally you know it expedites the process and if jupiter is well placed in the chart you will see favorable results uh, coming your way any health issues which were hidden from long time um, you will get an opportunity to fix those issues so you will get the right treatment search for the right doctor you will get the right treatment during this period right so overall a good uh, period for aries ascendant and because it is aspecting the the 8th house and the 10th house it also indicates sudden gains sudden gains also if you have any ancestral uh, uh, property this is a time where we, you can actually sell that property and get good amount of income from that so overall it's going to be a good transit for aries ascendant now coming to taurus ascendant jupiter is coming to your ascendant right to your first house and whenever jupiter comes to the first house it's considered to be a very good transit because um, many of your uh, issues many of the problems which you are facing with the 5th 7th and 9th house will now be resolved because jupiter will now be aspecting those house and the aspect of jupiter is considered to be very auspicious and it has the ability to counter any number of issues uh, with respect to the house it's aspecting so the 5th 7th and 9th house are the most important houses and jupiter will be coming into your first house aspecting the 5th 7th and 9th house so it's considered to be a very good uh, transit now jupiter is the lord of your 8th house and the 11th house and it's actually a functional malefic for you whenever the 8th house especially jupiter it comes to the ascendant so it's an opportunity we can say for you to uh, fix the health issues which you are facing so time to uh, get into exercise mode trying to go go out for jogging for you know taking up yoga and everything to fix your health issues so this is an window which you are getting to fix your health issues and don't lose this opportunity because jupiter will actually help you to overcome all your issues any kind of health issue jupiter will now help you to overcome that right now jupiter aspects your fifth house so fifth house and 11th house it's it's a lot of your 11th house aspecting fifth house and setting in the ascendant right and it's also the lord of your eighth house so it indicates gains um, from share market gains from speculation right so all that is indicated so people who are in share market if your jupiter is placed well so this is a time where you can make good amount of money now jupiter aspecting the fifth and seventh house also indicates that if you are in relationship with someone and you want to take it to the next level of marriage getting into the institution of marriage this is the right time 
because Jupiter is aspecting the fifth house and seventh house, which indicates marriage. Or if you don't want to get into marriage, if you are single, looking out for partner, this is a time where you will actually get the right partner. Jupiter aspecting the fifth house, so people who are married or into relationship and people who want to have children, this is the apt time, uh, you know, provided your dasha supports. This is the right time for you to plan for children because Jupiter aspect in the fifth house clearly indicates, you know, um, childbirth, if at all you want to have it. People who are in the fields of education and who students who want to go for higher learning, like, you know, post graduation or PhD, this is the right time. And people who actually are planning to travel for higher education, this is going to be the right time because Jupiter is a lot of your, uh, you know, 11th house, indi which indicates fulfillment of your desires. And Jupiter is aspecting the 5th and 9th house of education and higher education. So, you know, if you are planning, surely this is the right time. Uh, you will surely get success. You can try, uh, you know, and you will surely get success. Time uh, for learning new technologies or getting into new domain or learning new things is indicated clearly because again the 5th and ninth house is getting aspect from Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter in the 1st house aspect in the 5th and ninth house, this, this uh, Trikon which is known as the Dharma Trikon indicates that people will now be interested in spirituality and if you have inclination for spirituality, you can actually uh, try searching for a proper path and you will get the right path provided Jupiter is placed well. You will get the right path, you will get the right spiritual uh, guide or guru who can actually guide you through the process. So a very good transit for uh, Taurus because many good things are indicated. Now it's a lot of your 8th house. So you have to be a little careful on your health front. Um, you'll have to surely work out, you know, go to the gym, go for jogging, swimming, whichever suits you, you know, yoga, whichever suits you. Just take to the process and you will see amazing results coming your way, right? So a good transit overall for uh, Taurus Ascendant. Now coming to Gemini Ascendant, uh, Jupiter is a lot of your 7th and 10th house and it becomes one of the most important planet for you, one of the most important planet for you because it is a lot of two uh, Kendra houses. Jupiter coming into the 12th house, now 12th house in the natural Kal Chakra Kundali is its own house of Pisces. So one way you know it's coming to its own house and it gets a good amount of directional strength there, right? But it's in it's in a different direction. So here actually Jupiter will get into the mode of spirituality, self-discovery, into the mode of Nirvana. So you will have to put in a lot of efforts. Uh, for whatever things you are planning but Jupiter is surely going to help you because 12th house also represents hidden talents the talents which we have and we are not aware of it so now Jupiter will actually bring out those talents um, you know which are hidden in you and then it will expose those talents and you can start actually working on that and because Jupiter is also aspecting your 6th uh, and 8th house you know this indicates uh, probably change of job, getting into a new job or into a new role and you will surely be successful. But as I said, you will have to put in little extra efforts, right? Now Jupiter aspects your fourth house. So people who are actually, uh, who, who were planning to purchase some new property or build a new house, surely you can go for that. But just keep tab on your expenses because, because expenses are going to be little high during this period. Uh, now Jupiter is also the lord of your 8th house, right? So uh, based on how Jupiter is placed in your chart, it can also indicate, uh, it can also indicate sudden gains or sudden losses, right? So be little aware of that and uh, from 12th house, Jupiter aspects the 6th house and 8th house. So if you are uh, signing a new contract or starting something new, be very careful with the clauses which you put in the contract because it's aspecting the sixth house there are chances of some legal conflicts right so be a little careful so it's not to scare you guys but it's it's better to be careful right 
so other than that things look good only that you'll have to put in little extra effort but jupiter is going to help you by bringing out your uh, hidden talents you might be very talented but you may not you might not be aware of it uh, jupiter is going to do that thing for you like uh, just in uh, like uh, in ramayana we have uh, uh, one one episode where in hanuman actually was cursed to lose uh, i mean he had a lot of abilities but because he was quite young and he was very powerful he was cursed that you will forget all your abilities until someone reminds you and hanuman actually forgets you know uh, the capabilities how powerful he was and everything until he is actually matured he, he grows up and then jambavan comes and tells that you know hey hanuman you are very powerful so when uh, everyone was actually uh, all the all the vanar sena they were planning to cross over the ocean of uh, to go to sri lanka so at that time you know people didn't have that capability and then jambavan actually told hanuman that hey hanuman you have lot of capabilities right so these are your capabilities just just you know remind yourself and then it clicks to hanuman that yeah i am capable and then you know he does that uh, so similarly jupiter is going to do that for you jupiter is going to show you your hidden talents and these talents some of these talents might change your life they might become a primary source of in- income for you or a secondary source of income for you which is going to be a very good one right so gemini guys you know uh, just keep track of whatever jupiter is exposing you and you will have to put in little extra efforts and this transit will be a good one for you now because the 10th house lord is in the 12th house this also indicates that uh, one might travel to foreign land um for job or for business right so that if you have any plans or if your travel is pending from long time then this transit will actually push you to travel it will give you all the opportunities for you to travel to foreign land right now cancer ascendants this transit is going to be a wonderful one for you because jupiter will now be coming to your 11th house right 11th house as we all know it's the house of fulfillment of one's desires and wishes so one of the best house they say because generally when jupiter comes here you know it comes to fulfill all your desires now uh, jupiter is a lot of your 6th house and the 9th house and now it's transiting to 11th house and it aspects your 3rd house the 5th house and the 7th house right a wonderful transit for you it's going to be filled with opportunities and you need to utilize this transit to best of your ability now when it comes to 11th house uh, it it aspects uh, you know from there it aspects the 5th house and 7th house so clear indication of two things one is uh, marriage or getting to relationship so if you are planning for marriage you will get your soulmate uh, the perfect person or if you are planning to get into relationship then you will get the right person for you to get into relationship right your network circle will expand because it's aspecting the 5th house it also indicates uh, childbirth so if you are married planning for children perfect time perfect time just utilize it you know um, not only that from 11th house it also aspects your 3rd house which indicates that if you were planning to start something new and it was not happening or it was not working out or the contracts were not been signed a lot of impediments were coming as soon as jupiter transit said you know you will get lot of opportunities so all the impediments will go away and whatever plans you had you know you will see those plans actually working out so anything new you are planning a perfect time for you now uh, this 511 uh, access will now get activated so people who are in the fields of speculation share market a wonderful time for you right we also need to see how uh, jupiter is placed how the 5th and 11th uh, lord is placed but in general it's going to be a wonderful time for you to get lot of gains from share market so if you are into share market you have good knowledge then this period is going to be an amazing one um to get lot of 
gains from share market right uh, if you are planning for change in the job this is going to be a good one so either you change your job or you don't change your job whenever jupiter transits to the 11th house it indicates increase in the income it indicates uh, increase in responsibilities increasing your role uh, working with large group of people and you are going to get amazing success in your field right so overall a wonderful transit for cancer ascendant um it's going to be for one year so plan the entire time properly and you know you will be very successful in whatever things you have planned right now coming to leo ascendants right so for leo ascendant again jupiter is the lord of your fifth house and eighth house it's transiting to the 10th house and it aspects the second house the fourth house and the sixth house now uh Jupiter is the lord of your 5th house one of the best houses uh, which Jupiter is the karaka of also right so it's uh, it's going to be a good one for you when it transits to the 10th house it's going to aspect the 6th house as well so this indicates change of job or people who are planning to quit the job and they are planning to get into some sort of business uh or if you have planned for something like that this is the right opportunity so you can go ahead with all your plans uh if you want to uh, change your job go for a better role or you know a better salary package this is going to be a amazing transit for you you can utilize uh, this time now from uh, from you know fr from the 10th house it aspects the second house so again like i said new job increase in the income is indicated and again the same uh, principle of jupiter in taurus which is about wealth management increase in the wealth increase in the savings is indicated because it also aspects the second house which in the natural kal chakra kundali is again taurus right uh, jupiter aspects the fourth house also so people who are planning to start something from home you know like some business from home or you know something from home this is the right opportunity for you so it can be a primary business it can be a secondary business or people like you know uh, housewives or people you know ladies who are pregnant and they have quit their job and they want to do something from home this is the right time you can utilize this opportunity to start and you'll see amazing success coming in your way and probably this might be your primary uh, source of income or primary profession in the future who knows right uh, because jupiter will give that opportunity for you uh and because it's aspecting the second house like i said you know it clearly indicates increase in the income so if you are planning uh, to start something from home just do it just do it it can be a simple youtube channel it can be anything it can be anything right so you can go ahead and do that now jupiter also aspects your 6th uh, house it's a lot of your 8th house and aspects the 6th house so uh, any legal cases again you can see uh, they'll speed up uh, uh, you know things will expedite and very good chances that things might go in your favor and again uh, during this period because it is a lot of your 8th house and um, it's transiting to a 10th house indicates that you might also work into something related to research so you might get into a project or work where you'll have to uh, dig in you know deep and try to understand things which can be accounting you know trying to find out where things went wrong you can mean r and d you can mean actual research so any field but you will be getting into research right uh, getting deep into that matter and try to find out you know where things went wrong or uh, how it can be improved how the process can be improved it can be anything so for leo also it's going to be a good transit a very good transit for leo also so you can utilize this transit so guys why while, while i was doing um, the video for virgo ascendant suddenly you know my my camera stopped i don't know what is the reason but for virgo ascendants uh, jupiter is a lot of your fourth and seventh house and it's going to transit to the ninth house right so both fourth and seventh house are the most important houses because they are the kendra houses two very very important houses and jupiter is going to transit to your ninth house right so 
Jupiter is actually the Karaka, the Lord of the Ninth House. Because in the natural Kal Chakra Kundali, Ninth House is owned by Jupiter. Because Ninth House is about higher learning, it's about wisdom, it's about teachers, gurus, traveling, spirituality, right? Many things. In addition to that, Ninth House is also known as the Bhagyasthan, the Lord of Fortune, right? So it indicates many, many good things. And if ninth house is very strong in the chart, it you know it generally indicates that the natal is going to be uh, going to have a wonderful life, right? So it's going to come to a ninth house, and it's going to be a wonderful transit for you guys. From there, it aspects the first, the third, and the fifth house. Now, first, let's talk about uh, uh, you know Jupiter aspecting the first house. It's going to bring a good amount of change in your personality. So the personality can be a physical personality. Or you know the way you carry yourself, the way you speak, how confident you are, your outlook in life. So Jupiter is going to bring in a lot of transformation, uh, both physically as well as your attitude and your personality. So and that's going to be for good, right? Any health issues during this period can easily be handled, and this is a time where you have to actually work on your physical uh, aspect as well. Now Jupiter in the ninth house uh, and aspecting the fifth house. So both fifth house and ninth house are the houses of education and higher learning. So people who basically were planning for uh, you know higher studies, which can be post graduation, which can be PhD research, this is the right time for you to actually go for it. So if you were doing that, you are not getting success things were not happening then this transit will actually make things happen so just try working you know in that direction if you had plan to travel to some foreign country for a higher education right time it's the right time right don't miss this transit now uh, jupiter also aspects your third house now the 3 9 uh, axis will now get activated now the 3 9 axis also represents writing and publishing so if you had written something which you were planning to publish then this is the right time or if you are planning to do that then during this entire transit of jupiter you know you will get good opportunity good mindset good confidence to actually write and publish your writings so just go for it just go for it jupiter is going to support you uh, you know in this matter now if you were planning for something new and it was not happening or there were a lot of hurdles which were coming your way so it can be a new venture it can be some signing of some new contract or uh, starting of a new business uh, and it was not happening or if you have plans you had planned for future then when jupiter comes here and aspects the third house this is the time actually when if there were the hurdles the hurdles will be removed and you will see things actually happening things actually happening you will get a lot of clarity in what you want to do and you will uh, clearly get that intelligence wherein you will actually overcome uh, all the hurdles and you will start off with whatever you have planned for so if you had planned for something just do it it's the right time now from uh, from ninth house it also aspects your fifth house it's a lot of seventh house right so people who had planned for marriage right time uh, you can actually go ahead with your plans you'll find your right soulmate or your right partner during this period again fifth house also represents children so if you had plan for children right time again you know you can go ahead with your plans and you'll you'll get you know good success in that field um, now this uh, one three and five again you know uh, are actually getting activated uh, sorry one 1, 5 and 9. So again the Dharma Trikon is going to get activated because Jupiter is coming in the ninth house aspecting the 1st and 5th house and also the 3rd house but we are talking about the Dharma Trikon. So this is the time wherein you will actually search for spirituality and because it is the ninth house right so people surely will uh, love to get into spirituality and if you are very serious about that then you, you can actually uh, get into finding the right path and you will get the right person who can guide you right spiritual uh, guide spiritual master who can actually guide you in the process of spirituality 
right so um, for virgo ascendants it's also going to be a good one it's transiting to a ninth house of bhagya so you'll see a lot of support um, you will get and you can actually carry out your plans during this period right so uh, i'm going to make a separate video for the next six ascendants so uh, see you in the next video thank you so much for watching